FA Cup, Chelsea versus Aston Villa it was a rematch at Villa Park, which really everyone was running Chelsea off. But Pochettino made a huge change by dropping Thiago Silva in this match, which really allowed Chelsea to play a different formation. And we are going to talk about that today in this video and why Chelsea need to stick with this moving forward. Now, looking at our formation, we need to look at three different areas, our back four, our midfield and our attacking third, obviously. But let's talk about why we need to look at all three of these. So let's first start with the defense. Now there's a reason why we want to look at our defense because one of the key factors, Thiago Silva did not start this match, which allowed us to do something very unique, which we really have not been able to do this entire season. And that is pushing all our players up because when a ball is played over the top, the Sassy and Battishield have the pace to run back and recover, whereas Thiago Silva, with his age, is not capable of doing that. The reason why this is important because we now can add pressure up into the pitch on this side and really pin teams down. This is something that Pochettino will have to look at doing throughout the rest of the season because if we do not keep doing this, teams are gonna really be able to push us back into our own half because when we start having different players and creating this gap in the midfield, it makes it more difficult for us to control each and every match. Now that being said, let's talk about the midfield itself then. Now with the midfield, we saw Fernandez and Canseto once again, but because these two players were nice and tight and Bata Shield and DeSassi almost on top of them, this really allowed us to play the ball in between all four of these players, which allowed Gallagher to really move throughout this entire pitch. Jackson then was able to get the ball, Gusto was able to move up, and so was Chilwell. This itself really overloaded different areas of the pitch, which again made it very difficult for Aston Villa to defend. Lastly, we need to look at the attacking third, and Jackson and Matawaki, I believe, have to be our starting wingers moving forward. Yes, Raheem Sterling is a good player, but really, when you're looking at Jackson out on this left wing, he's able to drive the ball, and we saw it lead to the first goal. He played a ball into the box, which was dropped off by Matawaki to Gallagher, who found the back of the net. Nothing that Emily Martinez could have done to save that, but still, this was all orchestrated because of Jackson with his pace now quickly was, and the ball was again played to him quickly out on the side. Same with Noni, Matawaki. He's able to dig this and cut inside and again create chances. Yes, he did have the assist, but there's times that he really did create a lot of chances out of nothing. And lastly, Palmer then is able to float throughout this entire pitch. So again, what we're seeing is our team moving up and creating this pressure on the other team. And while there is this massive area in our defense, again, like I said before, these players can sprint back and get back quickly, which is what we've been seeing and what we've been wanting to see with this team. Now, I do not want to disrespect Thiago Silva because he is a phenomenal player, and if Chelsea were to play a back three, he would still be the perfect player for us to use. But moving forward, if we are going to stick with a back four, Thiago Silva should not be starting for us many matches because with his lack of pace. We've already seen this with the Sassy, Beta Shield, Cowell when he comes back fully fit, and even Fofana. These players have the capability of pushing up, but also retrieving back into the defensive third when we need them to get back quickly and make a tackle. So that being said, I want to know what you guys think about Chelsea's formation, what you think about these tactics, and if this is what we need to see each and every week moving forward to the end of this season. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like the and subscribe if you have not. I greatly appreciate that, and I will see you in our next video.